Hello, today I'm going to make a tutorial on React.js on Visual Studio 2022. So what I did first was to select new project and go to web and I clicked on a thing JavaScript or actually I clicked on this one right here, this option. To create my project that is right here so what you're going to see once you click this project are the different files and folders that are organized this way and uh, it's organized in pages controller client app and within the client app I think it, there is the HTML page and I think when you start running the program, that's how you're going to see it at first. And here it shows the loading of the project, React loading, and we should see the page the application page show is showing now say redirected to this one if the proxy is ready so this has to be ready before the apps open okay and um, yeah this is the project and this is what it looks like this is from the HTML page and this link comes from uh, the page like when you go to the components i think it's on the components page which is at source yeah so it's at the component page we see the the file for counter fetch data and home which were the link of the page so if you go back to i think index that html yeah index that html i think as Yeah, I think index has HTML as the home page. But it is from I think from the apps that JS that that we get the apps running. So this is the route. The route comes from apps route.js and those are the link the counter fetch data and then the home link and all of this comes from the components folder which which is fetch data counter and home and if you go to the components you see hello world welcome to single page application and you run you should see that once again We see the link also to Microsoft Word, I mean to Microsoft, as the link to Bootstrap, and also the link to React. This is the list, you should, you should show you the list, and also the paragraph. So yeah, so yeah, this is the list, the UL, LL list, this is the list of, this is the bootstrap link, the React link, and this is the ESP.NET link. Yeah, this is this page right here, the home page, 
that's the home page right here if you click on the counter this is like let's go and this is the fetch data fetch data page has the table the counter page has those increments increment button so let's go to the counter that's js counter that she has those button and if i add if i add another like for example divide division divide counter it should change the page the counter page and let's add a function divide function divide divide counter this that set state this is this and then you go to current this is a an object then you can divide the state current state by two for the division can put colon also and add in the button and and I will type the type the class name button which is from the bootstrap framework And you can use a B primary on click. This divide counter. Divide. And I think that's it for it. If I run, you should see the change in the counter page. Yeah. You just have to wait the project to load. If this one's now the reality is loading now. Okay, compile successful. Okay, now if we, I go to the counter page, you should see another button. If I increment, for example. To 10. If I use divide, I should divide by 2. Let's go to 20. We divide by 2. Uh, okay, I guess the button is not working. But the mod is working though. Let's see what's wrong then. Maybe there's a mistake. Let's see what's happening. Divide by two. Then divide by two is equal to well, 
I just show that it's work anyway. Okay, let me maybe we should change this to something else. Oh yes, that was my mistake. I didn't bind it. Yeah, that was the missing. This was missing, which is why it did not work. Now, if I increment again, it should be working. There you go. There you go. Divide, division is working. Okay. Yeah, so this is how we make this one work. And you can do the same thing for fetch data. Fetch data obviously creates a table. So, so that's it for the video on React.